This is part three of the Road to Intimacy series. We are looking at three key relationships you must have fully functional if your marriage is to thrive, to be blissful, and to be thriving. The first relationship we have been highlighting is your relationship with God, the vertical relationship relationship with your source where you came from and where your life is sourced and uh, dictated yesterday I talked about uh, why it is important to have a personal relationship with God every other relationship depends on the quality of your relationship with God so in today's episode I want us to look at the characteristics or the qualities that define your relationship with God my name is Martin the coach you're in the right place if you want to change something in your marriage if you want to experience more pleasure more intimacy more romance in your marriage you are in the right place now the three characteristics that define your relationship with God number one the communication language is decided by God not you so to relate with God you have to want to know the language of love the language of communication and it is only from him Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God so God has provided a channel to teach you his language of communication communication is the mainstay of every relationship so your relationship with God is not different you must be communicating with God on a daily basis now that communication needs a specific language otherwise you and God will not be communicating because in communication you have to express a message in the way you want it received so the only way you can communicate with God and God gets to understand or hear you and God and you get to hear and understand God is through using the language he has prescribed and that language is language of faith that is why you have to keep on listening to God because as you listen to God more your faith is built you form a belief system and out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so once you're full of faith once you're full of God's language, what you will release out of your mouth is what is his language. So that is point number one. In part four of uh, the roadmap to intimacy series, we'll be talking about characteristic number two.